are at the NWFA. We are in uh, beautiful Fort Worth. Um, I'm in the artistic, um, artistic finishes stand, and I'm with Bill Triber. And now I'm out of time. But how you doing? <laughs> I'm doing well. Enjoying the show. It seems like, and again, this is about halfway through the first day. It seems to me that this show grows every year. NWFA has done a phenomenal job. It's it's a growing organization. The president, uh, you know, all the staff, very very professional. They take their serious uh, topics and they address them. Uh, yesterday's symposium, I think I was in there from 10 till 3:15 or whatever, talking about one word: moisture. Uh, you know, there's that much to discuss in this organization and. Uh, it, it shows because it grows and grows every year. Well, that, I mean, that must mean, I mean, I always look at shows as an economic indicator, and given the trials and tribulations that the hardwood industry has had, people must feel very positive. I think so. Its uh, economy is continuing to do well, and housing is continuing to grow. Uh, you know, the environment is good with interest rates, what have you. And, uh, you know, we just have to make sure we got enough people to do the, to do the work. I guess LVT and the other acronyms are whittling away at the low end of the business. I suspect the average selling price obviously is rising. Yes. Uh, you know, certain species are very, very hot right now. Uh, you see what's happening with white oak, for example, in large part because of the European white oak uh, trend. But uh, overall, I think uh, when you look at wood and you look at particularly domestic wood, uh, it's only going to continue to grow in popularity. It's maintained its niche. Granite, the fastest growing segment may be in, in the uh, multi-layer flooring segment, but uh, it, it, it hasn't uh, dented the unfinished wood section in particular uh, to any real extent. You know, you still see the small mills here that are selling uh, large quantities of wood. Uh, I think that's going to continue for years to come. There, there's, the craftsmen are still there, the construction uh, engineers are, are specifying it. Uh, you know, the AIA and the, and the builder is, is uh, a niche that requires uh, flexibility with the end users. Uh, today's end users want variety, they want uh, choice in that, and what better way than to do an on-site finish? Uh, you, in order to do that, you've got to be selling unfinished product. Now, now, now in terms of the quality of the wood, uh, unfinished versus finished, it would seem to me, who knows little or nothing about wood, that if you're in a factory and you have a lot of the attributes of machinery, you can probably put down a better, a better uh, surface on wood than you could, could at the site. Is that anywhere near accurate? Yes. Installation for, you know, let's say three quarters solid, um, er, any floor is going to require a, a good subfloor. And, you know, the, uh, the best installation is the one that's uh, properly acclimated. But in the end, it does come down to nailing sequences and or adhesives. Um, I'm talking about the finish. That, that's on the top of the solid wood, or any kind of wood for that matter, yep. but it would seem like if you do it in a factory where you have control over temperature and moisture and all kinds of things, that the quality would be better, it would be more durable. Is that anywhere near accurate? I think today's uh, Finnish companies, uh, manufacturers, have uh, thought of all the additives you know, that they put in their products. In terms of the application and with the, uh, you know, UV curing, and uh, I know from our standpoint, you know, we, we, we specialize in a lot of proprietary blends uh, with exacting kinds of uh, machinery and, and systems that, yes, we feel very confident that we're putting out a very durable quality high quality finish. Uh, having been on the other side of the business, 
Uh, I know that there's a lot of things that uh, have gotten better with the water-based finishes in particular. Um, but, uh, you know, today's products, they, they're showing off all three of the major segments, the oils, the urethanes, and the water-based. So, and of course, then there's water-based urethanes as well. But um, in general, I would say your, your, your perception is, is what at least, I think, a large and growing segment of the population would envision, and that is pre-finished product, it certainly uh, comes with very few flaws. I would imagine, though, in a consumer's mind, having it finished on site is sort of a mark of quality. You know, not that they're experts in it, but that seems like something that they would look at as being higher end. Yes, it's labor intensive. Uh, but it gives the end user so much more variety and, and possibility. I mean, color is endless at that point. If you want to do a color swatch uh, on a job site directly with the end user, you know, and or designer, you can create whatever it is. That might, that, that's probably the operative point. You can do anything you want to, make it look any way you want to, because we're experts and we can do it. Let me change the subject. What's new and hot at Artistic? that you're showing everybody here? We have a couple new things. One is a square-edged, engineered stair nose. Uh, it is a product that we have worked on for about four to five years. We've had to make sure that we could accommodate the major engineered thicknesses in flooring while producing a stair nosing that is current, modern in, in design. Uh, the square edge, uh, it has a uh, four millimeter radius uh, on the top and bottom of the bullnose. Uh, we get it in wide widths, so it, it's up to five inches wide, and it covers half inch, nine sixteenths, five eighths, and three quarter inch thick floors. So it will cover the three quarter inch floor, but it really was initiated for the engineered thick floors with thick wear layers that. Um, you know, again here, uh, obviously European oak is a, is a big species with that. Uh, we do it blending basically to all of the major manufacturers here that are having oil finished floors. Uh, we can do that also in a wire brush look, in a, in a hand scrape look. We have enough wear layer on there to be able to do that and so we're very popular um, in terms of the choices that that will create going forward with something that we feel is going to be very stable, very uh, highly functioning, and uh, you know, give the, give the customer as many options as possible. Is there one more product you wanted to talk about? Yeah, the other product is, uh, we're, it's not really a new product for us as much as it is a, uh, a collection of products, and that is our Builder Series Tread. It's a program, we've had it on the back burner for many years. Uh, typically, we produce a tread, I'm just gonna grab over here. Typically, we produce a tread with an oversized bull nose, an inch and a sixteenth, which is standard. And then we, we uh, narrow the face to three quarter, makes it easier for install, gives a set uh, distance for a setback with, well within ADA code. Uh, now, with the Builder Series program, we're going to go with one thickness, full thickness throughout, in a full radius bull nose. We're going to have that available in almost all the popular uh, domestic species. And then uh, we're going to offer that unfinished as well as pre-finished. So we're, we're excited about that because the price in it's going to come down. Uh, it'll have a few more staves than we normally have in our regular uh, treads. So that also will, uh, will reduce the price somewhat, but certainly not the quality. And uh, these, uh, both these products, the Builder Series tread program and the engineered square, no, square edge nosing that I talked about are both going to become available later this month here in May. Bill, thanks so much for talking with us. Thank you. And uh, have a great show. I will certainly do that, and I appreciate you stopping by. Yes, We've been talking to Bill Triber. We are in the Artistic Finishes stand. We're at the NWFA show in Fort Worth, and this is Talk Floor TV.